Hello everyone, Kubeplays here. Welcome back. Where are we? I've never seen this place. But today, we are starting a brand new uh, CTM map, Capture the Monument, and this map is called Savage Realm, and um, welcome gender player to Extreme Adventure number 3, Savage Realm, created by Kroos, download link will be in the description. Important information, we should uh, probably read these, because both of these have to do with the map. Uh, to finish this, you have to find all the wool blocks, and then place them on the, wood, the wool monument. So, let's first read about uh, some information. The prime objective is to complete the wool monument. Despite its name, it comprises of more than just wool. In total, there are 25 objectives required for you to beat the Savage Realm. Oh yeah, Savage time. The water in this realm is deadly. You do not go into it and do not try to carry it in buckets or as ice. As you'll explore Swan Island, you'll see four forgotten islands. Though They are inhabited by odd foes. Each of the forgotten is home to a guardian horde. Rumor has it that the guardians possess swords of ancient power, gloom, sorrow, grief, and misery. They just so happen to be objectives for the wool monument. Okay. So, and next up, the rules. Uh, never go change game mode or peaceful. Uh, I'm gonna play on normal, I think. Two, do not use any mods or cheats that make your time in the realm easier or which give you an advantage. Do not Leave the map boundaries with regard to Spawn Island you may build out, but do not explore any new landmass which you find. Do not visit the Nether even once. I despise the Nether. Check out Forgotten Island number three for guests. Do not interfere with any command blocks. You may not trade with any bread villagers. Do not move or craft ender chests. Do not dye wool or craft string into wool. And that is everything. Uh, if you guys haven't noticed, I'm using a resource pack for this. I've custom made this resource pack with a bunch of things. Hostile mobs can't spawn naturally here. If mycelium spreads here, mushrooms shall spawn. Alright, so it looks like we have a bit of a starter chest here. I'm going to grab all of this. Let's put on our leather cap, taking inventory. And then, uh, I guess these are all the wools. So what's up here? Uh... We have a bunch of chests, a wooden sword with sharpness one, a bow, and arrows. Let's put all of that back there. Uh, ooh, some leather armor protection. Let's just put on all of this for now. And we have a bunch of leather right here. I'm going to organize this, I think, for now. And we will see how it goes with organizing. So we have one extra helmet. I'm gonna organize my inventory like I normally would. Then we have a bunch of leather right here which we can use for whatever needs. We have uh, saplings here. It looks like four of each. And we have eight vines that we can use. So I'm gonna do oak, spruce, jungle, acacia, dark oak, and then vines can go over there. Let's see. And then Chill three. Alright, so we have some music discs, some note blocks. Let's see. So, weapons, armor, greenery. And then over here, we have transport, which this is a lot of rails. Uh, I'm gonna just take all of this out for now. And then I'll just toss all the minecarts up the top. I'll just toss all this stuff randomly back in there because why not? And then blocks, we have cobblestone. Uh, oh, those are cobblestone monster egg, though. I'll take that, though. And I, I'll just use this sandstone for now. And I'll take the mossy stone. Don't really need any of that. And foodstuffs. We have one golden apple. We have some fish. We have a luck of the sea, too. War, too. Some wheat. Rotten flesh. I think for now I'm going to take this baked potato. I'm going to take this baked potato, two cooked fish, and the clownfish, and the melon. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take all that with me. On our beginning journey, uh, and there's an ender chest and an anvil here. 
Now, in this episode, I sort of want to start gathering supplies. Don't really want to do anything else. I'm just going to start gathering supplies in this episode. And this is just random starter chest. Now, we have quite a few melons. We have carrots. We have reeds. Oh, here's another chest. Just notice this. Life Force Torch times 7. Um, this torch grants you cursed speed. Minus 16 math health, but 200% speed. That is interesting. I'm going to take all of these things for now. And um, I guess it would probably be a good idea to start organizing some chests. So this is all a bunch of food. I'm just going to take all of this food food stuff out and just toss it back in there. And bone meal, bones, fishing rods. Down here we have that. And some glass can go down there. Just some good old blocks. You can never you can never deny some blocks. Jukeboxes, note blocks, and music discs. I'm gonna carry an extra wooden sword on me. And I think for now, well, I'm already hungry, but uh, let's eat good old clownfish. Just for now. There, Oh, there's something up there. There is something up there. I might want to go make a ladder so I can get up there. But I should probably get familiar with my surroundings first. And this is just stone, I believe. Yep. I don't 100% know every block in the resource pack. But I will make my best attempt to get used to it and... I think it'll look nice with the map. It's supposed to make it look semi-real. Ooh, is there a chest? Looting 2, Fire Aspect 1. A fellow named Rubisk of Minecraft Forms helped to delag this map. Cool. I'm, I'm going to actually take that for now. Just leave it in my inventory. And then we have a chest over here with a Power 1 bow. I'm just going to grab all this. An efficiency 2 pickaxe. And a lot of blocks. A lot of blocks. I like that. I'll eat this cooked salmon right now. And cake. This cake has been here since the first day of development for this map. I challenge you to only eat it upon completion. We will see how that goes, map maker. We will see how that goes, Mr. Map Maker. And it looks like that there is something dangerous over there. I see some spawners already. Now let's head back down. There's another dungeon area back there, it looks like. Yep, there's definitely some sort of a dungeon area back here. And let's see, what does this say? Forgotten... Oh, these are the Forgotten Islands. Alright. So I, do, I probably should not go to those places, because I have very weak gear currently. Now, I think one of the first things I'm going to want to do is to set up a good um, source of food. That'll probably be a good idea. And, alright, these are just carpets, alright. Let's climb back up here. And let's take a look at what we have in regards to supplies now. So, this is armor. Here's our weapons. Let's put our weapons back. Um, I'm going to keep Rubisk's brain with me. And then, don't really have any other weapons to get rid of. Here's some more leather. Now, over here... When it comes to transport, nothing. Blocks, no. Foodstuffs. Let's put some foodstuffs away. Fishing rod. I might just go fishing off camera. Um, I might just go fishing off camera. Let's see. Greenery. I don't know where the string should go. The string doesn't really have a place for it to belong, so I'll just put it in transport for now. And blocks. There you go. Some white blue stained glass. Now, I'm actually probably not going to need Rubisk's brain right now, but, oh, actually there's an arrow right over here. I, I don't know how I completely ignored this, but. You may break any blocks that you see. Have a smashing time. White wool dungeon. Alright, so this is the first dungeon right here. This is the very first dungeon. I think there's a little thing right there. 
But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start walking around the map and breaking all of the melon blocks that I see. So I have a source of melon for now. Um, and the carrots, those will be very useful as well. What's this right here? Oh my, what is that sound? It appears to be a whining hound. Ooh, dogs! Snuffles and Snoopy. I'm not... You guys are gonna be, um... You guys will be, uh, taken care of at a later date. Indeed. They will be taken care of at a later date. Nothing in that chest anymore. I will have to... T make a place for the two dogs... The two doggies and... I might take them on an expedition or two. I just don't want them to die. Cause they're they are dogs after all. You, I hate. I would hate to see a dog die. Uh, that's not a fun time. Oh, oops! I almost broke it. Now I would like to get stone if possible. And there is a bit of wood lying around the map, so I might just have to make a wooden axe. Hit first. Uh, there definitely is plenty. Oh God! Water. I did not realize, I completely forgot that water would do that. Oh, man. That was a bad time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump into water so many times and just kill myself because of it. Yeah, well, since there's not gonna be any water buckets on this map, I can't do good old Jake Kabemlg water buckets like I'm used to in UHCs. So that's, that's gonna be a difficult time. Yeah, that water completely freaked me out there. See, there's another forgotten island over there. I wouldn't think that there would be anything on the edge of the map. Oh wait, there is something right here. There is something. There is something right there. And what is these two blocks? These are ice and just like snow, I believe. So is there something in here? Let's... I'll go investigate that at a later date. I currently am right around here to investigate melon. I need, I want to get all of the melon that I possibly can. I see another melon right over here. Let's go ahead and take this. And Alright, we have over a stack of melons right now. That is a pretty good start. Now what I might want to do is get rid of the water in this spawn area so I don't accidentally kill myself in doing so. <laughs> that would be a bad time. Let's see, we are now back here and foodstuffs. Let's put that back. And let's see. What should I do with you guys? Um yeah, you guys are gonna go in the foodstuffs chest for now. And go some. You can go in blocks. Let's see. Oh, there's more melons and trees. I would like to investigate what's up there. Because I'm not sure what it is. Let's see, there's more melons over this way. Now, I should probably start gathering some wood as well. Oops. Let's see, so fall damage doesn't affect your armor bar. I'm pretty sure I knew that, but it's always good to know that you can take fall damage without your armor getting affected. Let's eat up a melon. And the more melons that I gather right now means that the more food I'm going to have throughout the map. But this map definitely looks interesting so far. I might take my first peek into the the dungeon, the white wool dungeon at the beginning of at the very end of this episode. But I'm not sure if I will do that. I might do that though. There are a lot of melons in this map in this spawn area at least. See, yep, there's another one right here. I'm probably gonna uh, gather. I'm probably off camera, gonna set up farms and that kind of stuff. So that way I will have a steady food source of melons and whatever I need. Um, I, actually, I think I saw a little bit of redstone, so I may be able to use that to my advantage and make myself an automatic uh, farm for melons or carrots or whatever I want to make it of. Oh, I guess there's an iron bar thing there. I didn't realize that. Let's take this. Hold on. Oh my god. 
Let's see, is this another dungeon area right here? This might be another forgotten island. I have a feeling that's another forgotten island right there. And we're probably going to take those on near the end of the series. This series is probably going to take a while, but I am looking forward to it. This is going to be really fun. I haven't done a CTM map in an extremely long time. So this this will be interesting for sure. This will for sure be interesting. Alright, you know, at this point I should probably be getting tools. So, now that I've been spending too much time gathering melons, and I continue to grab melons as I speak, <laughs> I'm going to cut down this tree here and then... Actually, I have cobblestone on me. I can go ahead and make stone axe right here, right now. Let's craft some jungle planks. We have a crafting table. And we have exactly four sticks on me. So I can craft myself an axe and a shovel right off the bat. Let's get a few more sticks going. And now I can start cutting down some wood from all of these trees. So that way I can stock up on wood whenever I need it. Which will be helpful. Let's see. Forgotten Island number one is right there. There actually wasn't a sign for that island, so it may not be one of those forgotten islands. That's going to bother me for a long time. Let's see, I don't really see... There's coal over there. I may want to take a peek over there and get some coal. But that's probably not my best, the best idea I've had in a while. So we're just going to be cutting down a lot of wood right now. Because it's just the basics, CTM maps. It's what you have to do at the start. You have to get supplies ready. You have to make sure that you're ready for anything that gets thrown at you. Because CTM maps can take you for a while to loop at any moment. And I do have a bunch of saplings as well. So cutting down these trees isn't necessarily a bad thing. Because I can always replant, regrow saplings. And I'm sure that there will be wooden chests all around the map. And the good thing about getting rid of these trees is that I can, um, I have more open area that I can use to gather up supplies, or mostly dirt. Yeah, I don't see anything on that island. I don't think it's worth it to go over there. It definitely does not seem like a great idea. I have not seen any Let's Plays of this map. I is this going to planet Minecraft for this? So I don't know if anything is going to be coming at me. And if I'm just going to get thrown for a loop at any moment. Like, I am I am completely blind running this map. So this, this will definitely be fun. I have gathered quite a bit of wood now. So I think I'm just going to cut down a few more logs. And I'll be good for now. I should be good for now. 53 logs is... Definitely nothing to just look at easily. It's uh, it's quite a few logs. And actually, it looks like we have ourselves a jungle sapling, so I can replant already. And we do have carrots, so I can start up a carrot farm. Now, I want to first go ahead and check out right over here. There appears to be iron bars that are leading up to this island. So if I take my stone shovel... Climb up. Let's climb it up. And let's just start breaking through this. Oh! Oh! God! Gravel hurts. Alright, we are almost at the top. I'm not a fan. Oh! Gravel dies on soul sand! That is an interesting thing. Oh, yeah, because soul sand is a little bit lower than all the other blocks. That is interesting. And let's see, we are almost at the top. There's quite a bit of soul sand here. Yep, and there goes another one. And we are officially at the top of this place. And there is a chest here. The Shrine and Realm Coin. You can trade this. Alright, so we have two Realm Coins. Let's, oh, there's villagers right here. Alright, the Shrine. Legends of the Shrine of the Crystallis are long forgotten, but for one, a young lad 
who is widely known as Wilbur the Weak, grew up on Swan Island. He wrote a number of scrolls and cast them to the Seven Winds, deceived the realm with magic. The scrolls are known as entitlements. If you throw one into the Shrine of Christus, you shall be rewarded. Look to the reward podium to seek your manifest of magic. A band of greedy traders sought out these entitlements and offered them in return for realm coins. To hold on to a scroll and refuse to free it in the waters of the Shrine is heaven, but such is, but such is the state of this savage realm. So I'm assuming if I take these two realm coins, animals exchange. Let's see, this note entitles its owner to acquire one wolf, one ocelot, one rabbit, one horse. That might be useful. The horse might be useful. Blocks exchange, stone bricks, and red sandstone, polished andesite, polished diorite, polished granite. All right, potions, speed, haste, regeneration, resistance, all right, armor set, so leather set, gold set, chain set, iron set, and doesn't do diamond set, and weapon set, so wooden weapons, golden, stone, iron, and that's it, all right, so what I think I'm going to do right now, okay, these are all four. I can't do anything with the four. I can't do anything here. I don't really think it's worth... I'm just going to save these realm coins right here. I don't really think there's a purpose of them yet. Oh, there's vines right here that lead down. All right. Oh, but that actually leads down into the water. Uh, here's the reward pomium. Nothing in there, it looks like. And I could go ahead and jump down... But that's probably not the best idea. And I'm also going to cover this up right now. So I can come back at a later date and build a ladder. Let's take fall damage. That hurt a little bit. Now, I'm going to just punch this here. And that's just full of soul sand. Jump. Alright, I took a little bit of fall damage, but not a big deal. I'm going to actually chop down a few more logs right here because they're just sitting here taking my, taking up my way and I don't really think there's much else to do at Swan other than get ready to enter that dungeon over there so I'm going to put away all of these blocks that I have and I'm gonna take along a little bit of wood crafting table. Let's see. Food stuffs. Let's put most of that back. I'm actually, hmm, is there anything that I should take with me? I'll just take this one piece of cooked chicken as uh, something to start with. And I think I am ready to enter the first wool dungeon. I don't think that there... Actually, I never investigated over here. Is there a bridge... Okay, there's this bridge right here. So I'm going to have to take this bridge and check out what's over here. And that area over there didn't have a sign telling me that that was an area for one of the... Did not say that there was one of the areas. Uh, one of the Forgotten Islands, that's what it is. So it might be safe to just go ahead and check that out. And there's nothing on top here, but if we climb down, there surely is something over here. And Oh! Okay, I get some extra health and extra attack damage when I hold the... That's interesting. That is definitely interesting. I, I like that. So, now what I'm going to do, let's sort of just tear a small hole so I can get over here. Pick up any block I can get. And what is going to be inside of here? Is there going to be anything? Let's see. Oh, there's beds. There's beds. And is, are these sea, yep, sea lanterns? Quartz? Let's see, what is this? This land is danger. This land is is old and full of danger. To live here, you must be willing to overcome all that comes before you. Anvils as well. What's over here? Something is missing. 
Where could it be? Hint. I N T T intersection two, I think. And then there's three anvils right here, all of which have different strengths. We are in a mushroom island biome. He didn't put a bed trap, so we cannot. We can only sleep at night, however. So these are where the beds are. I'm actually going to take this bed right here, and I'm gonna take it back. And I take it back to where I was residing. Mine up another melon. And let's see. Might be a good idea to build another bridge across. Because walking all the way around here is not the most fun thing to do. Let's head on back. We will place our bed right over here. And let's see. Right there. Perfect spot for a bed. And I think that is all we are going to be doing for this episode. Next episode, we will enter the dungeon for the white wool. And we will advance. And we may even get our first wool. See you guys next time.